Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can extract and import all the CSGO textures from the game files into Blender and apply them to an object. The software that you'll need is GCF Scape, VTF Edit, 7-Zip, Blender and of course CSGO. Now if you've come from my previous tutorial on how to extract the CSGO models and get them into Blender. You will already have uh, GCS Scape, Blender 7-Zip and CSGO installed unless you've already uninstalled them. So you will only need to download VTF Edit. If you're interested in my previous tutorial on how you can extract and import the CSGO models into Blender, then you can visit the tutorial in the top right. This will just allow you to get, say, the CSGO characters into Blender and some other stuff like weapons. We also have a Discord that you can join. Uh, in there you'll get some support if you need any help. Obviously I'll be answering questions in the comment section as always. Uh, but we also have some free resources in there like the CSGO maps which have already been decompiled and saved into Blender with all the textures and all the maps have also been fixed from any bugs. Anyway, uh, all the links will be in the description, but let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, so once you have downloaded and installed all the software that I've just listed, we're going to go and open GCF Scape. So in the GCF Scape folder, we have a time 64 times 86. Time 64 is for 64 bit operating systems. 86 is for 32. If you're not sure, it's best to run 86. I'm going to be running at 64. If you want to know, you can find uh, what operating system you have in the previous tutorial. Of course, if you have any errors, you can use the README here uh, to check if your error pops up there and they might have a solution. Anyway, next we're going to go to File and Open. And then we're going to go straight to our CSGO folder, which can be found in this directory. Again, if you're not sure where the directory is, you can look in Steam. And if you don't know where to find it in Steam, uh, I show you how to do it in the previous tutorial as well. But I'm just going to skip that part for the sake of making a shorter video. We're going to come down and we're going to select pak01 underscore dir dot bpk. This is the file that we want. We're going to click open. So once it's opened, we want the uh, folder named materials. This is going to contain all of the textures and materials that we need uh, for CSGO. And as you can see, it contains uh, basically everything that the game uses. So if you're interested, what you can do is you can right click on it and click extract and this will extract all or everything that the game uses. However, I'm just going to be using the models folder because um, I just want the textures for the models. Okay, so before we extract anything, we're going to need to make a folder. So, come down into your files and just make a folder. For me, I'm just going to call it Tutorial uh, Decompiled Textures. And that's what we're going to use to store our textures. So once you have made your folder, you're going to right click on the folder that you want, click extract. You'll then have to come down and find the folder that you want to extract all these files into. So I'm going to put mine in touch decompiled textures and click OK. And what this does is it's going to extract all of the uh, materials and put them in that folder. Now, if you've done everything, expect it to take a long time. Um, thinking about an hour, 
Uh, it took me, I believe, about an hour. It also may say not responding. Um, it's hard to tell if it's still working. What you can do is you can go into the folder you, that you're extracting and you can see if it's still extracting stuff because the folders and the files will be going in like live and you can watch it. If nothing's working and you've been you know, waiting for like two hours, uh, it might have crashed, although I've never experienced that. So everything should be fine. But I also do have a pretty decent PC and it did take me an hour so maybe two hours for some of you guys is a realistic time you'll just have to see and believe it as long as you can um, and if it has crashed you might have to do the folders individually so I will be back once my extraction has been done so my extraction has just completed uh, this only took like five minutes or so as you can see, it will be successful if it has done and it's extracted to the correct place. And you'll see it's all in green too. Uh, so now that it's done, we can get rid of GC Escape. Next, we are going to open VTF Edit, like so. And this is what you'll be greeted with. Uh, so what this software is going to do is going to open up all our files and convert them into readable files that Blender can use. In order to do this, we're going to go to Tools, Convert Folder. Now, um, this will allow us to convert a whole folder at a time. So if you've done the materials, you can just throw the materials folder in here and it'll do everything for you. If you want to do individual files, you can just go to... Uh, import here and you'll select your individual file but I'm going to go to folder now before we select our input folder we're going to need to create one so go to your documents create new folder and I'm just gonna name mine tutorial um, CSGO textures or materials doesn't really matter okay so that's there and this is going to be your permanent folder where your uh, textures will go into once you have done this process you can delete the original one the decompiled textures because you won't need them anymore so we're going to click on these three dots next to input folder we're going to find that folder we just made named tutorial decompile, uh, decompile textures not the one we just made sorry because that's going to be our output that's where our textures are going to go now you can choose which file format you want all these files to be converted to so as you can see you've got png jpeg bmp gta uh, gta tga you can unselect this and just convert it to a VTF2 and but I'm going to use PNG feel free to use whatever you want once you have done that make sure these two boxes are ticked and we'll go to convert so we'll just wait until this conversion is done as you can see mine stops responding but this is normal again I will be back once this is done so we're waiting about 20 or 30 minutes and as you can see our program is still not responding and it says it's made no progress. Uh, a good way to check if the program has actually crashed and is not exporting anything is to go into the folder that we've set as our output folder. So I'm going to go into my documents and into our textures. As we scroll down, as you can see, it's been doing progress from the time that I've been waiting. So as you can see, 17.25 and it's still 17.25 now. So that means it's still exported stuff. So what you could do is just continue to wait. And if it still says it's not responding and it hasn't made any new folders 
in the latest folder, then it's safe to say that it is done. As you can see, it's updating it live, like I was saying earlier, with our other program. So you can just watch it and wait if you desire to. Next, we are going to open up Blender. We're going to delete our camera. We are then going to select our queue and come down to Material Properties. Next, we are going to click the yellow circle next to Base Color. Click on it and then select Image Texture. Next, we are going to click Open underneath Image Texture. Then you'll need to locate where you've put all your textures. So this will be my tutorial CSGO textures. We're then going to click on it, open up models. I'm then going to, going to, going to, come, I'm then going to come down to player, open player up. All these materials are for the old models. Feel free to use them. In custom player, where we have econ, which separates the newest materials into the body and the head. We're going to open up body come down into CTFBI and we're going to click the first color which happens to be variant A for the body. You're then going to click it and it will now be applied. We will then come up to the top right and change our viewport to the shading viewport and as you can see it has applied our material to our cube. So that is all, thank you guys for watching, uh, feel free to join our discord, of course like the video, share it, uh, We also, I've also made a word document that can be shared online uh, of this process, it goes into a little bit more detail, maybe some issues you may have, that can be found in the description, so thank you for watching, uh, take care.